Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Mongari Stero, I will hear these messages for the collective. I'll show the signs. Um, just remember that this message may not resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with the rest for somebody else. At the end of the reading, I'll pull out some zodiac sign for um, for you guys to see if any of the zodiac signs is your zodiac sign or somebody that you uh, dealing with, and also some numbers um, that you might be seeing or you connecting with, and some um, charms. Okay. Um, if you like a personal reading, um, you can book one with me if you send me an email in my description down below. If you like to donate to the channel, you can do that in the description down below as well. Um, I do all type of uh, personal readings, um, so don't be shy, just send me an email down below. All right, guys, let's get um, the first message here with the divine guidance, okay? The meaning of this card is twofold. Firstly, it is calling for more time in meditation and prayer. And generically, you are needing some time alone with yourself in your inner space. Through meditation, you are able to connect more deeply with your higher self in your guides. And generically, this is vital for you. Secondly, this card calls you to focus on the power of the voice to fa facilitate the opening of your throat chakra. This vocal expression, whether through your chant, prayers, or even singing, is important for you right now. All right, so um, I guess the um, the aim of this card is that it is time for you to uh, spend more time with your uh, in, in, inner self and your higher self. So it's time for you to meditate um, and to open your throat chakra, okay? So it's very important right now for you to... Um, to meditate and uh, work with your throat chakra. So this stone might be very helpful for you, okay? Um, you might be called to wear a lot of blue as well. Okay, and this one, so you can express your, um, um, express your truth, okay? Um, actually, uh, singing could help you, okay? Chant, prayer, or um, could help you as well. So the throat chakra not only helps you um, with your self-expression, but it helps you uh, speak your truth as well. Uh, it helps you uh, with any creative blocks that you may have. It's good for uh, writers out there, um, singers, um, or any creative way that has to do with your vocal cords, okay? So um, if you're having any problem with the throat chakra, you might be feeling like uh, any sore, uh, pains in your throat, okay, that could be that you're having any type of sore, um, so, uh, throat chakra problems, okay, that it might be able to, for you to communicate your, uh, your needs, or, um, okay, so very important for you to do that, also, it's very vital for you to, uh, spend time with your higher self, okay, and communicate, and, and spend time in meditation as well, okay, There might be a message that's trying to come towards you, but you need the time to um, to meditate at this time. Okay, let's see what other messages that we have for you here. Alright, what's 
some of the other messages that we have for the galactically. Crystal Kingdom, Slow Down, Materialism, Psyche Debris, okay? Let's see. And then we have Seeking the Higher Proof, Discernment, A Better Path, Authority, okay? 33. This might be uh, numbers that uh, might be significant for you at this time as well, okay? Let me move this one over here. And uh, Safari or Light, okay? Healing Hands, Empathetic Qualities, and Animal Wisdom. Okay, so um, what I see here is that at this time, it might be time for you to um, slow down a little, especially when it comes to um, the material world, okay? Um, and just focus more on the uh, uh, in your spiritual side, okay? Um, your uh, the powers are probably uh, spending at this time, okay? This could be a lot to uh, take in right now. All the all the psychic uh, debris that you see right now, you see, it's like um, you know, it's time it's time to to reflect into all of this, okay? It's like it take time to slow down meditate okay um work on it okay especially when it comes to get that balance between the uh psychic world and the materialism world okay um and then we have the safari of light you could be um uh, an earth angel here okay you have healing hands empathic qualities here you connect with the animal world okay you have this wisdom within you, okay? You are a person who are very connected with the uh, nature, with Mother Earth, okay? You have this life within you, okay? You are a person who carry a lot of gifts within you, and it's time for you to connect with those gifts, okay? And uh, slow down a little because this might be a lot to take in at this time, okay? <clears throat> and it's like you're seeking that yourself within you that truth that side of the servant a better path that authority within you okay and that's where like you right now are being might be connecting with that number three 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 which is in mind body and soul and you're trying to seek that higher truth of yourself that that sin of the sermon okay that um the higher path okay the better path that's not of authority within the within you within the world but it's calling you to kind of slow down a little, okay? It takes that time to meditate within yourself, uh, find your higher self, okay? Communicate with um, your throat chakra as well so you can um, you can find your higher truth within yourself as well, okay? Let's see what is, uh, what are the things that are you going through at this time, okay? Let's, let me see what I need. Yeah, let's go for the monologic here. What is happening with the collective here? What is the state of slow down when it comes to this empath abilities and seeking this higher truth? What is happening right now within the collective? What is happening right now? What is this need of slowing down with the psychic debris and the empath abilities seeking this higher truth? What is this? Okay, this is had to do by about holding your vision, okay, this time, okay. There's something about the vision your guys give to you that it is coming you to hold into that vision at this time, okay. 
seeking that higher truth that that's in the center that better path that they put into you okay they give you that vision for a reason okay and you hold that cavalry in you to accomplish that vision okay and it's time for you to hold that vision okay do not lose faith no matter what's happened within the um 3d world here the world that i know we live in this world that uh, materialism or so much ego based 3d based world but it is time for you to hold that vision because you still have those psychic abilities in these guinea hands these empathic powers to uh and that wisdom within you to seek a better a better uh, a better path a higher truth a better discernment of who you are and you can accomplish that even though that you live in a, in a 3d world even though that you live in a materialism world you can accomplish that vision that you guys put in your in your mind it is possible use your discernment have that authority to follow and hold that vision um you could be a virgo you could be dealing with a virgo says you are good enough full moon virgo okay you guys want you to know that you are good enough okay walk through your fears new moon scorpio okay it's time for you to walk through your fears so you could be dealing with a scorpio or you could be a scorpio okay but if you are um if it's this vision is causing you to fear uh, you have nothing to worry about remember that uh, fear is is part of your ego and uh it's time to release the uh those fears okay it's just work through them okay release those those fears okay any other messages okay we have Yes, it is time to release negativity from Moon Scorpio. You uh, definitely could be dealing with Scorpio. And it's time to release negativity, okay? Um, surrender to the divine, okay, full moon. It is time for you to surrender whatever the situation is to the divine, okay? Um, you could um, write things down, okay, to your prayers and surrender your uh, worries to the divine, okay, and let them go. Uh, this is going to help you quite a lot to um, whatever is your worries about your spirit to the divine, okay? You definitely are an earth angel here, okay? You have uh, a lot of empathic powers here. You have that safari alive within you. You have that healing hands within you, those animal um, wisdom, okay? You could be a shaman here, okay? So you are surrender. You know, we all live in this uh, 3D based world. Uh, we can't always live from this space of the 5D, okay? So we have to be realistic here. Um, so it's, it, it's calling you to use that discernment within you that, that uh, to find a better, um, you know, that better path, that sign of authority within the world that is, that is. That is telling you to hold that vision within this uh, physical world as well, as well, okay? So when in doubt, just surrender to the divine, okay? Know that um, you guys are here for you. Any other messages? Okay, um, if you're dealing with a situation, know that that end of the tail cycle is about to approach, okay? It's about to be done with, all right? And you can get some clarifiers, okay? And then the bottom of the deck, we have the living and possible, okay? <clears throat> all right, so let's get some clarifiers about these cards really quick. See what this is about collective. 
for your vision. What is this about? So let's use these angel cards to clarify this. Um, this energy, what is this, what is this hold your vision about? You are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance than reassurance okay so um if you are uh trying to hold your vision as a counselor know that you are a natural counselor and a lot of people can benefit from your guidance and reassurance okay you are good enough for moon and virgo Helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. Okay, she's dealing with a um, in a if you're in a love relationship with a soulmate. Okay, uh, Akandjar Kamo is here to help you uh, to let you know that he's helping you with that soulmate relationship. Okay, uh, work through your fears. What is this about? Okay. Creative writing. Okay. And we have Akanda Gabriel, okay? Make time to write down your thoughts in a journal, a pen, article, or book. Okay, so um, if you have any fears or any um, things, Akanda Gabriel uh, wants you to write them down, okay? Write down your fears, okay? In a journal or a book, okay? It's time to release negativity from Moon and Scorpio. Oh, we got two. Okay. All is well. Okay. I find your Jeremy. Everything is happening exactly how it's supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. Okay. So, you guys want to let you know that all is well. Okay. You got nothing to worry about. And then we have clear recent sentences. Okay. I find the right girl. Notice recruiting physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. Okay, so uh, you are very gifted and notice how those recurring physical and emotional feelings that you feel are divine guidance, okay? So notice how your body feels, okay? Your senses, your body, okay? Um, those are the signs from divine guidance and know that everything is happening how they should be, okay? Recognize your, the, the, uh, your body, okay? Surrender it to the divine. Clairvoyance. Yeah, you're very, very gifted. I'm helping you with spirit of sight to awaken you fully so you can clearly see the heavenly love. Okay. The divine is here to protect you, okay, and they're helping you so they can so you can see that you are protected, okay? You got nothing to worry about, okay? The divine is here to protect you. The inner work of soccer approaches. What is this? I'm just out of kill, okay? Keep an open mind and learn new ideas and teach these ideas to others, okay? Know when uh, when this is over, whatever you went through, okay? Once you learn this lesson, make sure you teach this lesson to others, okay? You have that within you, okay? Believe in the impossible. Okay, and we got two. Relationship harmony, okay. Arcangel Ragiel. We angels are opening the the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. Okay. And sensitivity. Okay. 
Arcangel Haniel. Yo, you are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings, okay? Know that if you are an empath, it's absolutely um, normal to be very sensitive to energies. And you got nothing to be ashamed of. Actually, that is your... Um, that is your greatest gift, okay? You should be proud of who you are. And you should never be ashamed for your gift of how you feel, okay? Nobody should make you feel... Um, uh, unworthy for who you are okay be you are very blessed this is your best gift okay so do not let anybody make you feel small okay uh, and believing in the possible if you are um, waiting for a relationship to be in harmony okay um Archangel Raguel is here to let you know that he is helping you with opening the heart for everybody involved so everything could be resolved right now, okay? All right, so those are your messages, collective. If the message gets in every device, please like, share, and subscribe. I would like to have you. Don't forget to hit that like, comment uh, button on your way out. And let's see what sort of signs you could be. So I could be, you could be a, I believe this is a Capricorn, Leo, Virgo, Cancer, Gemini, uh, Leo, Tauro, Aries, Aquarius, Aries, Virgo. Um, the numbers from all the same could be eight three one nine 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 ten. Um, you could actually be seen one forty four. You could actually be seen five six seven eight. One three four five. Twelve, ten. Okay. And nine, nine. Things that you might be seeing right now, or you could be seeing in the next couple of days, or you have been seeing in the last couple of days. Okay, so you could be seeing stars like this okay uh, a cat or a hat you could be wearing those so you've been seeing those okay you might want to know uh, Christmas trees could be significant 